Not every vehicle that's built was designed to transport people or goods. Some of them have complicated and unique purposes, and they've been engineered to perform just one task. Others have been built just because a genius engineer wanted to show the world what they're capable of. This video is full of spectacular and specific machines, all of which are spectacular feats of design. If your waterways are clogged, the machine you want to send for is an amphibious excavator. This clever piece of equipment is designed to stay afloat in shallow water and scrape the surface of the waterbed clean. The job used to be done by dredgers mounted on barges, but the amphibious excavator is significantly more efficient at the task. Clearing a silted trench is no hardship for the powerful vessel, which can also operate on swampland. Technically speaking, it can even walk through the water if it needs to by making use of the sealed pontoons that sit below the chassis. The adaptable frame can rotate through 360 degrees if required, which means it can roll over and swing while excavating, and still carry on its work as if nothing had happened. The base of the chassis is reinforced to ensure it can deal with rough terrain, and it's made of saltwater-resistant, high-tension steel. Simply put, they're built to last. This fearsome looking vehicle might look a little bit like the Batmobile, but it's actually the latest military innovation available to Vladimir Putin's special forces in Russia. It's even got a superhero style name to go along with its distinctive appearance. Military insiders like to call it the Punisher. The thick armor plating applied to the all black vehicle means that it can withstand attack by projectiles and even survive landmines exploding directly beneath its wheels. The 10 military personnel inside the armored cars would be totally unharmed by any such attack. It's not all about defensive capabilities, though. There are tiny gaps in the Class 6A armor, which allow for firearms to be mounted and used against anyone or anything that gets in the vehicle's way. Putin himself was invited to inspect the prototype of the device back in 2016, and he gave it his enthusiastic approval. It's now being mass-produced for use by the Army. We said that some of the vehicles you'll see in this video were built just for the sake of building them. And here's a great example. This gigantic spider robot is the creation of British engineer Matt Denton and is officially the world's largest rideable hexapod robot. The towering steel arachnid stands at 9 feet and 2 inches and is 16 feet wide. The total weight of the metal monstrosity is two tons. Denton has worked for Hollywood in the past, making robots for use in movies like Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban, for which he made a small robot tortoise. This latest creation, despite looking like a spider, goes by the name of the Mantis. Denton credits his vision to the materials he worked with as a child. When he was very young, he spent his days building robots out of Lego. He combined those skills with his fascination with Star Wars to create the record-breaking machine we see here. Clearing away landmines from a battlefield is an intensely dangerous job. You need an armored vehicle to attempt such a task, and even then, it's hard to completely guarantee the safety of whoever's in the driving seat of the vehicle. That's why military personnel are grateful for inventions like the M1 Panther II tank which can be operated by remote control. Six units of the tank have been built, all of which are currently owned and operated by the Army of the United States of America. They're built around the hull of the M1 Abrams battle tank, but the turret has been removed in favor of two arms, which can hold either mine plows or mine rollers. The idea is that the weight of the mine rollers detonates the mines on contact, and the tank is spared from taking the brunt of the explosion. They've been used to excellent effect during military campaigns in Iraq, Kosovo, and Bosnia. These Panthers aren't just thorough, they're also fast. You can rely on them to clear almost five square miles of minefields in a single hour, making it safe for other vehicles to follow in their path. Chemical warfare is an unimaginable horror. Every civilized nation in the world refuses to engage in it, but it remains a possibility. That means we have to build machines capable of dealing with such an eventuality. 
The Russian method of negating a chemical attack is the TMS-65, which is built around the chassis of the Ural-375. Driven by a single operator, the TMS-65 can degas and disinfect areas where toxic chemicals have been released. That can include buildings, trenches, and even open-air spaces. The platform turns through 360 degrees on a rotary hydraulic system, powered by a VK-1 turbojet engine. Not all of its capabilities are defensive, though. Sometimes, when deploying troops into a combat situation, secrecy and shade is required. The TMS-65 can roll into position alongside soldiers and provide a smoke screen, allowing them to penetrate into a position without being clearly seen by their enemies. Milking cows used to be a task that had to be performed by hand. In many locations around the world, it still is. We've seen automated cow milking machines before, but nothing on the level of the Levy Astronaut Robotic Milking System. This was a machine built to deal with a specific problem. The world population is increasing, and we have a finite amount of food to sustain the population with. If we can't create more food, then we have to increase the yield we get from what we already have. This machine ensures that we get every drop of milk a cow has to offer, without causing any suffering or distress to the animals in the process. It's a robot with a delicate touch. Each unit is programmed to prepare every individual cow for milking, from attaching teats beforehand to providing post-treatment as soon as milking is complete. Each cow is treated as an individual. The machine learns from each milking session and adjusts its approach accordingly. The yield on farms which own the devices has increased by up to 15%. While these big red trucks look a little bit like massive mechanical lobsters, they're actually specialized fire trucks, and they belong to the fire service of Chelny in Russia. The emergency services vehicles are derived from the MTLC crawler tractor, with a company called Rem Diesel working on converting the armored tractors into machines that are ideally suited to coping with the demands placed on a 21st century fire service. The framework of the tractor remains in place, but fire monitors and pumping equipment are mounted onto the chassis as part of the conversion process. The capacity of the fire trucks is so great that they could almost be considered mobile fire pump stations. They're called into action whenever there's a large, dangerous, and rapidly spreading fire. A typical example would be a fire where a flammable liquid is spreading quickly, for example, a blaze at an industrial depot. In the disaster scenario of a fire at an ammunition depot, these trucks would be first on the scene. A vehicle doesn't have to be massive in order to be remarkable, but it certainly helps. Here's the largest wheel loader in the world to help us prove our point. Komatsu Limited built this big yellow beast, which goes by the name of Latorno L2350. Latorno is a surface mining loader and has been certified by the Guinness Book of World Records as the largest earth mover on the face of the planet. You can load up to 400 tons of trucks onto the back of this monster, and it will carry them as easily as you carry a rucksack. It can even pull them more than 20 feet into the air if it needs to and lift them outward from itself by 12 feet. Standing by a single one of the vehicle's wheels would give you a sense of its immense size. They're six feet wide and measure 14 feet in diameter. Under the hood is a 16-cylinder diesel engine, which provides 2,300 horsepower. That contributes to the hydraulic lift payload, which comes in at 72 tons. Power like this doesn't come cheaply. Each unit costs one and a half million dollars. All ship lifts are impressive feats of engineering, but the ship lift you'll find at the Krasnoyarsk Hydroelectric Complex in Russia is one of a kind. Built in 1976 and still in service to this day, this is a behemoth in a world of giants. For such a gigantic machine, it's surprising to find out that it only really consists of four parts. An outport, an approach channel, a turntable for ships, and the powerful elevator. Calling it an elevator is doing it a disservice, though. It's a whole platform which moves along a rail track, 
with the track gauge measuring 27 feet. Because of the size, each rail on the track requires its own individual flyover. When a ship needs lifting, the platform sinks below the water level and then brings up both the ship and the water it sits in, thus keeping it afloat for the duration of the lift. The whole platform then moves onto the turntable, which sets the ship in the right direction and then releases it to carry on with its journey. The company responsible for this marvelous piece of technology is Lengidrostal. This is an idea so simple that we can't believe that nobody's thought of it before. Planes aren't designed to travel over land. They'll do so when they have to, for example, when they need to get into position for takeoff, but it puts unnecessary strain on the aircraft and introduces the risk of foreign object damage. In Israel, planes aren't subjected to this risk. They're pulled and pushed into place using a small but powerful vehicle known as the TaxiBot. The robotic aircraft tractors were designed by Israel Aerospace Industries, and research has shown that using them significantly reduces the amount of fuel required by planes to take flight, because the engines of the planes aren't engaged until the moment they're due to take to the air. The TaxiBot literally drags them from the terminal gate to the runway, and then pulls them back to the gate once they've landed. They don't even need a driver. The pilot of the plane can control the robots from the cockpit. We've seen how the American military deals with clearing minefields. Now it's time to look at the British method of achieving the same aim. The Trojan Armored Vehicle Royal Engineers, which is known as the AVRE for short, isn't just designed to clear paths through minefields. It can also clear a path through just about any other battlefield obstacles it comes across. Operated by a crew of three and armed with machine guns and portable anti-tank weapons, this is a vehicle you wouldn't want to get in the way of. On one side of the AVRE is a winch, and on the opposite side is an adaptable caterpillar arm which has an extension capable of taking on multiple different attachments. The vehicle can be kitted out for a variety of different functions. Up to three cubic feet of obstacles or earth can be scooped up and shifted out of the way by the bucket in a single scoop, and the arm can lift larger objects clear of its path. It can haul anything up to seven tons in weight. The whole machine is built around the chassis of the famous Challenger 2 battle tank. What you see here is not an image of the Eiffel Tower lying on its side. Don't worry, nobody's been to Paris and knocked the famous landmark over. Instead, it's the F-60 conveyor bridge, which is the largest conveyor bridge ever built and has a claim to being the single largest machine ever constructed by the human race. Back in the 1990s, it was put to use by the Kletwitz Nord coal mine in Germany, where it was capable of shifting over 90,000 cubed feet of earth every single hour. The 1,600-foot-long bridge weighs more than 11,000 tons and can be seen for miles around. Sadly, it was so good at its job that it's no longer required. The mine is closed, and the F-60 is now little more than a curiosity and a tourist attraction. People still travel to see it, though, and we've heard plenty of good things said about the view from the top of the viewing tower, which is 250 feet above ground level. Subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications and you will be the first to know when a new video comes out. Thank you for watching and see you soon.